Well, we're docked. Totally forgot to uh, put out the GoPro camera. I put the battery in it this morning, got it all ready to go. Well, yeah, docked right here at the staging slip at uh, Holland Marine. This is, this is the situation. It's currently Saturday. The marine is closed. They can't haul us out today, obviously, uh, or tomorrow. They're going to try to work us in on Monday. Uh, so we're just going to work on uh, getting everything is cleaned up and, you know, put back together and get our things together and pull this boat out of the water, hopefully on Monday. Uh, it's time for a delicious celebratory lunch of instant mashed potatoes and a can of peas. Woo! <laughs> ha, thanks, honey. Cheers! Done with this nightmare. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would definitely call it an adventure. Tammy and I were talking about it last night. And it's like, that's one thing about boats, or I guess a cruising on boats in particular, is if you want an adventure, you're going to get it because you just never know exactly what's going to happen and how you're going to deal with it. You can do all the planning you want to, but uh, certain things are going to happen and come your way that are going to have to be dealt with along the way. And that is just part of it, isn't it, baby? That is correct. If you can't take the bumps in the road and the surprises and the adventure that comes along with cruising, then this ain't for you. Mm -mm. I like how you called it earlier challenges and not problems, too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the optimistic view of it, right? Yeah. yeah. All I right. like to stay optimistic around here. You got to. I, I feel like you have to be optimistic mm -hmm. to be able to handle this kind of stuff. Otherwise, you'll just, it'll get you down in a hurry. You'll just crumble. For sure. <laughs> What'd you just say? For show. For show? All right. For show. It's hot. Is it burning? It's a little bit. Well, just keep your composure. I'm still recording. <laughs> you can spit it out if you want. Spit it out, Tammy. Today we have the U-Haul truck. We're gonna be unloading our stuff out of the boat, getting the boat pulled out of the water, set up on the hard, and then we're gonna be heading home for a couple of weeks. And then in a, maybe a week and a half, two weeks, we're gonna be coming back here to Green Cove Springs and wrapping up the sale of this boat, or the, the purchase of this boat. Yeah, so that's what we're up to. trying to take this head sail down however the halyard is wrapped up there and it will not come down yeah thankfully the beautiful tabby has volunteered to ascend the mast look at her in her harness and her checkerboard shoes she's so cute hopefully this isn't the last we see of her <laughs> all right you ready ready This is awesome, honey. Look at you. Two hours later. There's Tambi at the top of the mast. I'm at the top of the mast. She took a little encouragement to get her up there, but far less encouragement than I would have required. It's kind of scary, but I made it. So proud of her. I don't want to look down. I will not be looking down. She's always said she wanted to go up the mast, and we figured this was her chance. Good up here though. My legs are hurting real bad. 
and uh, I figured this was a chance for me to avoid going up the mast, so yeah, win-win. All right, let's see if we can't fix this problem. See ya. Down? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Baby, how was that? I made it. That was awesome. <laughs> I took some convincing, didn't it? Yeah, but it was it wasn't as scary once you get up there. You got a, you got about one third of the <laughs> way and you were like, uh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> And tell, tell me about uh, what you were screaming about up there. What was? There was a giant spider up there and he was like staring at me. It looked like a miniature tarantula. <laughs> well, well, how was he staring at you? Like with his little beady eyes. Like he'd oh. come out of his hole and like look at me and then he'd go back into his hole and then he'd come out on the other side and look at me and then go back. Oh. And I tried to flick him off but I couldn't. He kept, he kept dodging me. It's, a, it's okay. Good, good job, honey. Great, great job. Look at that. Got it down because of you. Uh, the view has changed somewhat. Mm. Yep. Does it feel good to finally be settled? Yes, it does. Yep. All right. So what's going on now, Tam? We just kind of go through our next little timeline. So now we are going to finish getting our stuff off the boat and putting it in the U-Haul. And then we're going to drive home tomorrow. And then we'll be back in a couple of weeks to finalize the sale. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And then what happens after that? Boat projects. Just just a few though, right? No, we have. <laughs> <laughs> we have 
pages of pages and pages yeah we just made this monster list and it's in no particular order you know it's well i mean it will be we we will prioritize it yep. um but it's a monster list it's a monster list there's really only a few major major projects that we need to do and mm -hmm. we're going to focus on the, the priority stuff but yep. there's loads of stuff and there always will be loads of stuff yep but it, it's okay yep yep feeling good Okay. Feel great. Good. All right, wrap up this clip in a fun and spontaneous and entertaining way. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> wow. Good job, Tammy. I'm, I was actually impressed by that. <laughs> And there's the boat. There's Tamby atop the boat. Wave Tamby. Woohoo! There's the U-Haul truck. And here is another very important element of putting your boat on the hard here in Green Cove Springs. Ant killer. Uh-huh. We got some of these guys too. The ants are real bad around here. So what we do is we use this stuff and we make a defensive perimeter around the boat and that keeps all of the ants from crawling into the boat and making all kinds of mess and turning your home into their home. What are you doing? Coming down. Oh, okay, come down. I get a very flattering shot of you. Thanks. I like this uh, stair thing instead of a regular ladder. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet staircase, isn't it? Now, you know, before you get too excited, this is actually probably the world's ricketyest, uh, most <laughs> unsecure staircase that there is. I've tied it to the boat with a couple of safety lanyards. Um, I think the only thing holding this staircase together is actually the rust at this point. So, yeah, we're just going to be real cautious with it. But we're grateful to have it here. I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, getting ready to head out this morning. We have all of our stuff pretty much packed up, moved on to the truck, except for a few little things. Oh, gosh, what all have we done? All right, the, the batteries are turned off. Um, we have a lot of these little moisture absorber bags all over the boat. I think six or eight of them. Uh, all the hatches are dogged down really tight. Um, let's see. I uh, took the composting toilet out of here. It was sitting right there. Just going to take it home for now and then bring it back so that it's not in the way whenever we're uh, whenever we're getting, you know, all of this stuff off of the boat. Right? Right. Let's see. Does one of these flashlights work? No, not, 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 not that good. great. All right. Let's see. Um, in the engine room... If you can really see it here, I got the engine all covered up. So these are those blue shop towels, and then underneath it are those white, I believe you call them pig mats, but they basically do not absorb water. I've got it all covered up just because I did notice a leak uh, coming from, you know, this hatch seal here. Didn't seem like a really bad leak, but regardless, I do not want water dripping on this engine while we're gone. Uh, so everything's, you know, pretty well opened up. There's another moisture absorber bag over there. Got the aft cabin all cleared out, pretty well empty. More moisture absorbers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, before we leave, we're gonna get, you know, all the doors opened up, all the cabinets opened up, you know, so that everything can breathe really good while we're gone. Um, this really isn't a long-term storage thing. This is just kind of our regular practice for, you know, leaving the boat to itself for a while. Right? right. All right, see you later, old girl. Hopefully next time we see you, 
we'll be making you our own. All right, everybody, we just want to say thank you for everybody who has supported us in our videos, anybody who has subscribed to our channel, left comments, uh, shared our videos, anything along those lines. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, much. What we want to thank specifically right now are a few new patrons that have joined us. All right, so the first one we want to thank is Doug and Beth. And I would like to thank John. And Evan. <sighs> thank you guys very much for becoming patrons. Pa patrons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for becoming patrons. We really appreciate it. It helps us out in a huge way. Thank you. We actually have uh, some people who are sending us some supplies for our boat refit. So what have you got there, Molly? I've got varnish from Victor, a food vacuum sealer. <sighs> There's a big cardboard box full of West Systems epoxy products. So we got, you know, the resin and such as that. Seriously, thank you guys so much for this stuff. It's mm -hmm. it's so kind of you to send this stuff. Yes. Um, your your generosity is just overwhelming. Yeah. We, we really appreciate it. We're going to be diving deep into these projects on the boat very, very soon. I'm actually leaving tomorrow uh, to go down to the boat and start on these projects. It's going to be a little bit of a delay before you see that stuff in the videos. Uh, but all of this, uh, all of these goodies and varnish and epoxy stuff and everything else that's been sent to us is going to be very, very handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we still have this Amazon wish list. If you want to, uh, you know, send us a supply drop, check out that Amazon wish list otherwise consider becoming a patron it's really helping us out in a big way isn't that right Molly? yes <laughs> <laughs> okay well we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time bye, bye. <laughs> bye. all right nice job ladies <laughs>